Hello, YouTubers and YouTube land. This is Donnie Dallas again. And I'm going to talk about abuse. Okay. Um, I really believe that when you are a child and you see abuse or you are a part of abuse, that um, it shapes your mind and for whatever circumstance you were in, it tends to make you feel like any situation later in life is okay. <laughs> now my situation um, of being abused was um, I had an older brother. I have an older brother. And um, when we were young, we were only a year and a half apart, so I think there was a lot of um, robbery there um, between us. Um, and I think uh, my parents were very good parents, you know, they took care of us very well, but seemed to overlook this one little flaw <laughs> in our family. <laughs> but um, I think my parents looked at it more like it was um, just brother or sisters fighting but they didn't realize that um, all the bruises I was getting and being hit on all the time affected me psychologically. And because they didn't step in and, you know, make him stop or, you know, do something about it, I mean, there should have been zero tolerance for uh, boys hitting girls. For one, it's not good for the boy to hit a girl because then he thinks that it's okay to do that in the future, which I don't know anything about his life. So as far as that, I don't think that there's been a problem. But in my case, being abused um, and hit on all the time and that it was okay, um, you know, I just grew up thinking that it was okay. And what was odd too is I have a sister that's two years younger than me and he never hit her so I'm not sure you know I think it was because we were so close in age <clears throat> but back to my point is you know <laughs> I'm 46 years old and I've had uh, four relationships and three of them were abusive <laughs> and um, you know I really hate when I, I hear someone say, um, when a woman's being abused and someone will say, well, she gets what she deserves for staying. But you don't understand the circumstances in that woman's life and what's going on with her. Um, for me, I guess, you know, I was just raised that it was okay to be, you know, hit on and you know that just <laughs> that just screwed me up for my whole life and it's not okay it's not okay to be hit it's not okay for someone to abuse you and then someone that you love that says they love you and you know you forgive them and they say they're not going to do it again but it always happens again the best thing you can do is get away from that person because they're not going to change. They've obviously grown up in a situation also where it was okay to hit a woman. So put two and two together, it's not good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's a hard subject to talk about because I feel like, you know, why was I so naive back then but really it took me being with someone who did not abuse me for me to realize that I don't have to live like that you know I don't have to live in fear and uh, being abused I've been with my boyfriend for 10 years I say fiance I told him I'd marry him in 10 years and the 10 years is actually going to be up in October so it'll be 10 years so I don't know um, but anyway it, it actually took me um, probably 
a year or two to actually just relax and realize that I wasn't going to be abused. You know, I kept waiting for him to snap or, you know, sort of something to freak out and happen, and it just never did. So it, it really took being in a normal relationship for me to realize what really happened to me in my life. And those were so many wasted years and so much pain and anguish and, um, you know, that I, I wish someone could have showed me another way that it wasn't okay. Um, so please, if you're being abused, it's not going to change. It's, it's something that has happened to you in your lifetime and the person that's hitting you in their lifetime to think that it's okay and it's normal because the, you grew up that way. And it can cycle. It can just keep going on and on like I went from one to another to another of abuse, you know. And I just don't, I don't know what to other to say than just leave you know uh, it's not going to change get out don't waste your life don't waste your life trying to change someone that is something's been programmed into their mind through their life it's just not going to work so I hope that you're not in a situation like that but if you are I suggest you leave start over a new life I know it's hard but do it. There are decent people out there. Um, I really didn't think there were, there was, but there is. <laughs> um, that's my story of abuse. And um, like I said, nobody feels sorry for me. Um, I just wanted to tell my story. And um, the last thing I will say is parents, if you have children, and you have boys and girls, please do not let your boys hit your girls. That's when it starts in their mind to think that that's okay. Don't let it happen. Stop it.